So I think this episode is still going to be good vibes, not going to be serious, but it is called Battle to the Death, Yami vs. Jack. So let's find out what happens. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 68. Last episode, we had the festival, a double date, some good times go down. We ended it off with Jack and Yami about to have a battle to the death. They said they wanted to settle things. So I say we not waste any time. I said we find out what's going to happen. Got to have my plugs, though. Real quick, guys, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead on there for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. And don't forget, we do have a P.O. box, guys, if you guys ever want to send me any art, mail, figures, anything like that, anything and everything is much appreciated. As, as always, everything is down in the description for you guys. Let's hop right on into this. Black Clover, episode 68, Battle to the Death, Yami versus Jack. And it's purple and green. It seems like it's going to be all evil and big, but we know it's... Oh, Asa's even dressed up. What is he taking bets? Is this how this started? We have Seke and his captain, Asa and his captain, having a rivalry with the, the selling of, of food goods. Oh, and he can cut off them. That's actually kind of creative. Oh, is this what they meant last episode? Your food stall and my food stall, and no one's selling anything. And cut back to present time. Wait, am I crazy or isn't the last time they went to a festival like episode like 13 or something when Vanessa took Asta and uh, Noel first off that was the first time we actually saw gray people told me that a little Easter egg that I missed the first time we saw gray and her other form was actually there didn't that old lady turn out to be Julius am I crazy or is that old lady Julius right now that seems like to be the same old lady Ah, Rocky. That was, that was the underwater temple, right? You've seen my years of fisherman experience. I've never had squid. I've heard squid is super good, though. Just like the Tatoes from Hodge. Yeah, don't, don't compare them to no Tatoes. If they actually had a fight in the middle of a festival, they would kill so many people. What game is this? I've played a version of this, except not as serious, you know, where you go, huh, and you have to see which way they look, you know. But I, I've not played this one where we fucking fight to the death. Oh, wow, just a number of games. It's like the fucking Olympics. He's gonna have Finra teleport us, us, teleport us somewhere else, and so we can... Is this, like, actually going down? Oh, there's the grandma! Fucking, that is Julius! This is the same cave? Really? Oh, it does have a big-ass hole in it. This would actually be perfect, because this is where Jack and Yami were last time. You sneaky bastard. They're hyping this up. We're about to see some amazing epicness. By the time that drop even hits the water, it already starts. All right. <laughs> 
I want to see some actual spells, though. I, wanna, I haven't seen Jack the Ripper use too many. We've seen his cloaked black blade a good amount. Wow, that is definitely very strong. Julia says way too much like a little kid. There's no way he's gonna be using the dimensional slash. That would literally break this whole cave in half. Yeah, the thing that murdered one of the strongest people we've ever seen in the show ever. <laughs> and we'll all die. Yep. And we'll all be dead. We'll all die. <laughs> yeah. No, he's cutting this whole area in half. Dark cloak dem Okay. Julia stopped him. Thank you. He captured everyone. I mean, they're setting it up to maybe we'll see it later. Marks. <coughs> oh, the normal king. Do we get to see the normal king? I've only, I don't think we've, oh, did we? Yeah, we did. Augustus Clover, right? I forgot about him. Yeah, I remember we met him. I remember he, Abra and Kadabra. I remember he was uh, like super fat and like, yeah. That's a good way to uh, make sure they don't keep fighting is to rip their pants. And for them, time didn't even like continue moving. Time probably stopped for just a second. You know, that's why he continued the fight. Oh, that chronostasis is so cool. They are funny. I like their rivalry. Oh, they're trying each other's food. Ooh, oh, he's gonna do shaved ice. I like it. He said zero losses. <laughs> Where are they getting these numbers from? They're just pulling this out their ass. Okay. Okay. Picks up by the head, yep. <sighs> yep, that's exactly what I assumed was gonna happen. Kyoto and Kahono, I'm glad they enjoyed the festival. I'm glad they were able to come on the, the surface and enjoy a day, you know? Heck yeah, you are. Was that Asta? Just flying? Here comes Nero. He's actually, he's okay. He actually made it. Okay, bye. That's literally what just happened. She's super pretty. I bet Finral would love her. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That's what's her name out of her outfit. Oh yeah, with those eyes and her blonde ass hair. First off, I love this ending. Charlotte, Charlotte, the blue roses. I really like Charlotte. I really like Soul. I could tell, I could tell. So I can't be positive. I'm looking at her right now. She's the only one with blue eyes, blonde hair of anyone. And for Asta to say she's someone I've seen before and he's seen all the Magic Knight captain. Oh, bro. And I really like Charlotte, like as a character. That's her name, right? So I have to triple check. Give me one second, guys. Charlotte and Soul. Yep, I just had to make sure. So uh I really like her. Um 
her little unique love interest in Yami is also interesting. I wonder if she will bring that up or if that's going to happen. I, I do. I, I thought this was a super fun episode, you know, with the whole rivalry with the food. Then we got into the fighting and then Julius came out of nowhere with his. We got to see his chrono stasis again. I always love that spell. Um, I do love that little rivalry. <laughs> Oh, it's just funny how the way he stopped their fight was cutting their pants, you know? They just laughed so hard, I'm not in the mood to kill you anymore. And they're like, guys, you guys would have killed each other. And they both were like, you dumbass, he wouldn't have gone down that easy. But we're, uh, I forgot, Marx is calling Julius back to go talk to Augustus Clover the Eighth. I'm pretty sure his name is. I had his name written down somewhere, but uh, to do the awards ceremony. So maybe that'll be next episode, but I actually want to see who the number one squad will be. If it's still going to be the golden Dons and I want to see this ceremony. And in the opening, it looked like there was a tournament that had to do with the ceremony. So I don't know, but I'm super excited. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts. If you guys are excited for the next ones as well, check out that Patreon. If you don't want to wait, you know, we do have a PO box. If you guys want to send me anything, I appreciate y'all have a great day. Dapper squad. Peace out. You guys.